We're in the, in the square in front of the church at St. Mary Gleese. Well, when I come down on my parachute on June 6th, I was landed on a shrine down over the hill behind the church here on the roof of a shrine. It was dark. There was gunfire all over the place. <laughs> and uh, there was two Germans there to greet me when I landed, welcome me to Normandy. <laughs> and I could see the fire. I thought the church was on fire, but they told me later there was a building over there by the... Uh, the museum was on fire, and that's what I could see coming down, the fire from one of those. But it looked to me like it was a church. Uh, this is the shrine I landed on the night of June 6th. And I landed on this side and slid down, and I figured, thought I was going to break a leg or something. But I think the, the roof was a, lot, was a lot lower than it is now. Uh, it seems to me like I didn't go very far, and all this wild grass was right up even with the walk there on and I was in I was in pretty tall grass when I hit the ground there and uh, there were two Germans coming down this I could hear their co hobnails coming but I always jumped with my rifle assembled and they ran up here and they were shooting at my chute it was flopping up there on top of the thing and I'm laying there about three feet away from them so that argument got settled pretty quickly. And <laughs> I uh, left, came out this uh, this little path here and cut to the left there, went out and ended up in the graveyard out there. Well, when I come come out of town to get rid of all the gunfire at me, I came over the wall of the, of the cemetery here and I crawled down through it. Uh, and I crawled out the other side. And, <coughs> pardon me. That's how I got <coughs> got away from all the gunfire. And uh, on the other side, I just got over the other side, and I met a another kid from the 502. He was, his name was Payne, and he and I messed around, fought around here together. Uh, thought we were going to take this town, just the two of us. And he finally got shot in the ankle. And it was so painful that <coughs> I gave him his morphine syrette, and he was still moaning and groaning, so I gave him mine. <laughs> so he's probably a dope addict to this day, you know. <laughs> but then I drug him off down that tree line there, and I met some 82nd guys down at the end of that, and they had a medic with them, so I turned him over to their medic. After I had the pain off to the medic, uh, the 82nd, guys told me that there was two more of my guys up on their on the well be their left flank in the, so I walked up there and it was Rogers and Alley so we got together the lieutenant in the 82nd the 505 guy sent me and three other guys on a recon patrol to find out what all this where all this firing was coming from and I hadn't gone a half a mile I counted nine tanks and I didn't count the Germans but there were a lot of them so I went back out to the, that direction and came back around, came back. And when I came back, I gave the lieutenant my report, and he turned around and sent Paul Rogers on the same mission. And so that's when I told him, I said, if Paul don't come back, you'd better be good to that gun because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and because uh, he knew what was down there, I just told him what was down there. Well, Paul made it back, but he was really mad because he said, boy, we ran into more damn Germans than I ever saw in my life. Well, of course he did, but they knew about it already. They, uh... <laughs>